Carolina and today I'm doing my part two of my Spain haul. I already uploaded the first part which is all like the actual clothing pieces so if you haven't seen that I'll link the link down below so you guys can check it out. Today is part two so this is all of the accessories like shoes, bags, hats and like other random things like books. Um, so I'm going to start out with shoes because that's probably like, the most interesting part. Um, and I got like five pairs of shoes. I went a little shoe crazy. I just found so many cute shoes for such great deals. I just, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, I did kind of struggle to get them in my suitcase, but like, that's fine. They're here now. So that's all that matters. Um, so one of the first shoes that I got, you guys actually already saw if you watched my vlog, um, but they are these kind of high heeled sandals that has all of these like I don't know, fringing at the front here. Um, it kind of looks like, you know, those like drapery tassels. That's kind of like what this looks like. But like, it's really, really cute and just different. I feel like I haven't really seen any shoe like this. So I was really excited to pick this up. So from the same store, I also picked up these sandals. And they are so cool. They are these really big platform sandals that just kind of look like those jelly shoes from the 90s. Like if you look at the structure from the front. And they're actually really, really light. So these didn't weigh down my suitcase at all. They took up a lot of room, but they're actually like super light. Another store that I got shoes at is Parfois, Parfum. I'm not really sure how you say it. I'll write it up here. Um, one of these shoes, this is actually the first thing that I bought while I was in Spain and they are amazing. They are this dusty rose heel with a sling back and then it has this kind of like ostrich feather detailing on the strap here at the front which is so fun and I love that the little heel is silver so I just think that's a really fun little detail. As well from Parfois I picked up these little sandals and they are just black block heel sandals and I love that the little buckle is kind of like a diamondy kind of look to it. It just kind of elevates the shoe a little bit so you can dress it up or dress it down depending on the occasion just because of that little detail. And the last pair of shoes that I picked up are these little Oxfords and they are cream. I actually wore these out the other day and they're just so cute. They're like a nice little cream color and it has like a caramel kind of colored sole. It's dirty so I don't really want to show you. If you follow me on Instagram you'd know that I picked up some sunglasses and these ones are from Stradivarius. Don't, still don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but they're just really cute. They're like the little mini sunglasses that are kind of all over the place right now. So I only picked up one bag while I was away and it is this little bag from Sfera. And I am obsessed with this. You guys know I love tiny little bags, especially if they're structured like this. So it's another one of those little box bags. And this one is in like a faux green and black kind of sneak print to it, which I think is really, really pretty. And then the handle on it is kind of like a faux fur kind of handle. So it just, it gives it a nice little detail and then the hardware is all in gold. Okay, so going into my favorite thing that I bought this trip and okay, I was in a corte inglés and I was like looking around and I was like, what is that? And I literally like ran, okay, not ran, but like I walked really fast to like the other side of the store and I saw this. And I was like, what is this? Is this is like a pencil case. Like what is going on? Like what is this beautiful thing in front of me? You guys are gonna die. So you open up the zipper, okay? There is an umbrella inside, like you guys. <laughs> I was so excited. I'm like, I cannot wait for it to rain because I just want to carry this around everywhere. I named him Rupert. So like Rupert, say hi. It's just like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> Moving on to hats. I picked up a few little hats actually. From Stradivarius I got this little kind of cabbie hat and this is in a blue, black and white um, tweed color. There's also some like silver threading in there which I think is really really fun. This is from Primark. I also picked up a lot of hats actually and one of them is a leopard print kind of cabbie hat and I love leopard print. I've always loved leopard print and it's kind of really in this season so like thank god because I have so many leopard print pieces. If you guys want me to do a video styling leopard print let me know in the comments below. I would love to do that. I think that would be really fun. I also picked up two berets from Primark. This one is kind of like a burnt orange and this one is a gray. I do already have a gray that kind of looks like this but for some reason it's really tight on my head so I picked up another one um, and then I also picked up another hat so this is like a periwinkle kind of color and this is from Sfera I believe. Uh, yep and I just thought this color was really fun. I don't have anything like a hat in this color. So from Sfera I also picked up a little like neck piece like bow tie type thing so this is like in a burnt orange and it has these little gray little flowers on it as well as a little like 
circle diamondy thing um, and I just think this would look really really cute for the fall and winter along with that I also picked up this little brooch which is kind of like a similar concept but this one is in a green and hot pink and then again it has this like really beautiful intricate little like button type thing in the front it's like a little embellishing um, but I thought this would look really really beautiful very Blair Waldorf I absolutely love it I also picked up a couple of little like scarf bandana things for my hair one of them is actually the one that I'm wearing today and it is a burnt orange and white polka dot I actually wore this while I was out in Madrid so there's some footage of that I'll insert as I'm talking um, and then I also picked a couple of up at Primark so I got this one which is like a nice little light gray and white polka dot which I thought was really really pretty. I also picked this one up for the spring so this one is white and it has all of these little like flowers on it which I think is really really pretty. I picked up three earrings and one of them are these little leopard print little I don't want to say hoops they're like little circles. They're very like 1960s which I like really really love but it's something that I have to wear with my hair up just because it's dark and my hair is really dark so it kind of gets lost so it's more of a ponytail type earring. I got two kind of evening type earrings and one is this like goldy colored little stone earrings do you have some like this in silver so the pieces kind of look like little diamonds um, and this is more of like a bronzy tone which will be nice when I have outfits that match more with gold and then last but not least for earrings um, I picked these ones up which I thought were actually really fun so they are these little gold dangly earrings and then they have this little gray little stone at the end they kind of look like a little teardrop diamond type thing I'm so bad at describing these jewelry pieces thank God for the little close-up so you know what I'm talking about I did pick up a couple of books um, and one of them is La Mirada de Vogue so there's a lot of little Vogue um, photos in there which I thought was really really cool so I really liked looking through this got tons of inspiration I just I really love it and then from the bookstore I picked up this Chanel book which is actually really really beautiful to like look through so it's more of like a coffee table book and there's a lot of like different little um, illustrations and stuff which I thought was really pretty um, and then I have two more things to show you guys and one of them is this really beautiful print so there's all of these kind of like Victorian era or 18th century um, hats and clothing and stuff that you can kind of see there and I just thought this would be really cool for like later on in life I can put in like a frame or something I really loved it and the very last thing that I got is like so random and I actually found one of these little like movie like I don't even know what these are called but I thought this would be really cool to have if I do a lookbook inspired by movies I love old cinema and old films that's usually what I watch so if I do kind of videos around that if you guys want to see that I think this would be a cute little feature just to have in the video um, so if you guys do want me to do that video let me know in the comments below and yeah that pretty much sums up everything that I got in Spain if you haven't seen part one it is linked in the description bar below I hope you guys like this video let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below as well as I do have a lot of new videos for the fall coming out so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button because as you guys know subscribing is not enough nowadays you don't get notified of videos so it would really help me out if you hit the notification button and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye